Populism is not just a reaction to crisis. Populists actually aim to induce and perform crisis themselves. They, they do it through a number of ways. First, that they always identify kind of a single kind of mistake or an issue. So let's say they target immigration. Then they try to link it to a wider set of problems. So immigration is actually linked to unemployment because migrants are coming in and taking your jobs. And actually it's linked to gender as well. They're harassing your women on the streets and so forth. And then once they've linked that, used media to propagate the crisis, linked all these issues together, then they can present themselves as the one who can solve the crisis. I think we need to recognise populism is part of democracy because it does share this central audience of the people and democracy is about the sovereignty of the people. But where populism and democracy go their separate ways sometimes is how do we understand the people? In democracy, the people um, are understood generally as a relatively plural group. It can take in different, different groups, different ethnicities, different genders, blah, blah, blah. In populism, the real worry is that the people are, are the only legitimate actors in society and anyone else is not part of the people. Put Spain and Greece, the cases of populism there, uh, to the side for the moment, those left-wing cases of populism, because those, those uh, characterizations of the people are far more open, are far more exclusive, we, we could, so, sorry, they're far more inclusive, we would say, compared to the more right-wing forms which are exclusive, which are about keeping people out. So, um, the Front National, uh, their targeting of, of Islam, uh, Scandinavian political parties have been targeting Islam as well and asylum seekers and the like. This, this, uh, the, the perception of the people there definitely has an ethnic component. It's nativist politics, protecting the homeland from these invaders to some extent.